then we have researchers develop a portable device that creates 3D images of skin in 10 minutes. What do you think of this, Joe? This is this is like mind boggling. This is like almost like we're in like the 21st century, like a whole new deal. What do you think of this? Well, that's that's pretty it's pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> I never I don't think I thought that would be you know um, that yeah this is something I wouldn't think that would be possible. Well, it's coming, Joe. It's actually happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my, my brother's getting into 3D printing, so um, I'll have to ask him more about um, what he thinks about this. <laughs> Imagine. Tell, tell him to try to print 3D human skin. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how, would they, how would they make it work? And is it going to be like like exactly like real life or is it going to be more like a different type of material no i don't know it's oh it's 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 complicated <laughs> um yeah i don't know how do they how do they do it do they it here, they've devised film onto the subject skin to obtain an imprint of a about to five by five centimeters, which is then subjected to an electronic charge generated a 3D image. The researcher designed a 3D print prototype of their device using polylactic acid, a biodegradable bioplastic. The battery operated device, which measures seven centimeters by 10 centimeters, weighs only 100 grams. It seems hmm. like they're using, it's like, it looks like it's not like fully skin. Mm -hmm. It's more than like a plastic that they could actually just attach to you to make it look like if it's synthetic, like part of you. Mm. Oh, so it's kind of like, um, uh, I don't know what are they, they're trying to protect, um, protecting against infection. If that's what I'm it sounds like. Or biodegrade, like biodegradable plastic. Um, And would that even be safe for humans? Well, I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know. They're using it to. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. This is just mind-boggling on this topic. It's just like it like just blew my mind, knowing that they're actually going to be doing uh three D, three D images of skin in ten minutes. Okay, here's another thing. It's the thin film is also flexible enough to map features on uneven skin areas, such as the creases of an elbow and fingerprints. Wow. Yeah. You, do you not know how much identity theft that's going to include? Yeah, yeah. It's talking about how they could do uneven areas like fingerprints. Damn. Yeah. That. Yeah, it, <laughs> it makes it reminds me of uh, when I go to uh, the bank and I put on the hand sanitizer and then I touch the screen and I'm just wondering, I can see my fingerprint up there. <laughs> just have, reminds me. I have a habit. I always wipe it off. Do you? Yes. <laughs> like, tell nobody's going to do that. Yeah. Next week, I'll have to show you what I wear. I wear a face shield and I wear a mask. And then I recently got in the habit where I put hand sanitizer on and I, my hands are dripping and then I touch the door and I open it with the hand. <laughs> so we're like, they dry, right? But you, like people are like, yeah, <laughs> hand sanitizer is going everywhere on the planet. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is cool because, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool to, uh, it's, it's cool to help people like, uh, people who have skin diseases and, um, you know, uh, for burns or whatever, like a, a congenital disease. Um, it's awesome that we have technology to make life a little bit easier for them. Yeah, and to actually make them almost, uh, almost 
like everybody the, make everybody the same. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how you would call that. Like make them equal, make them make them back and just part of society again. Yeah. So, uh, 